felt like a curse They didn't know if I was coming home But the cops were in a hearse I betray my mother's trust after stealing out of purse Just to get a little bit of the white powder But the demons in me, they started screaming louder So I had to fight them, I fight within And that's where the true struggle begins Say I wouldn't be here without my family and friends So I had to make amends And that's when I turned my life around But yeah, now I'm home drugs now. have affected my life greatly I was stealing money off my family I was working just to get money for drugs I remember stealing money out of my mum's drawers and watching my little brother take the blame for it. One night, I went to my mate's house. There was a few beers there, you know, we had a couple of pipes and then someone brought out a bag of legals. You know, we smoked a bit of that. And you feel cool, you know, you feel this real chilled out. Really, it just ruined my whole night. It wasn't anything good about it. I felt sick, I felt yuck, pretty much. I had a huge wake up call and I got pregnant when I was high and I've fully stopped it now because I'm having a daughter in eight weeks so she deserves better. At one point I even started selling drugs just to be able to supply it for myself. Got all my mates hooked on it just so that they would shout me. Uh, yeah, I was a pee addict by the age of 15 and because of the drugs I lost all my family. I uh, lived on the streets for two to three years. I lost all my memory. Uh, I have a life twitch now because of the drugs and my face twitches and my whole body jolts because the drugs affected my system. Well, uh, I got quite into drugs, got pretty hooked. Um, not just we went on to some pretty hard stuff and didn't really have the money to supply my own habits, so I went out stealing of lots of people. Nah, got me a pretty bad name. We missed out on a lot. I've affected my life by, I used to ditch school a lot and just get high. And because of that, I never finished school. Uh, I dropped out when I was 17. I started getting really bad when I was in drugs. Like, I started stealing stuff from family. I started stealing stuff from mates. It was like a cultural norm. It was everywhere. So even a cousin's birthday party or something. And that were bombed next to the fizzy drinks because of them. I myself used drugs to cover up a lot of things that I had going on, mostly a lot of problems. I've been kicked out of my house basically nearly like every week when I was on drugs. Ruins everything. Drugs ruins everything. I wish I could see my life through my father's eyes Just to feel how much pain is growing inside Scared for my life because I was contemplating suicide. Personally I think I think to help the youth get through hard times and stuff like that and not resort to drugs, possibly. Just let them do stuff because it doesn't make them feel bored. The first thing that turned me to drugs was boredom and peer pressure. Supporting them more. Um, if, they're, if they're doing something else, that means they can't get go out, get high, get pinging on other drugs, and go steal cars, go rob stores, go, go just go put up 7-Eleven. Environment is a key factor. Um, yeah, I'm drawn to the services because it's like a, like a safe haven for me, like a second family. I don't regret joining. I'm lacking on so many credits, but best thing I've ever done. Ever. Just getting involved in group activities. Um, more things that say how drug effect, drugs are featured, what it does to your brain in the future. We could get some more youth groups together, promoting like hobbies and stuff, something healthy other than getting high, making kids enjoy activities and show people what's out there other than just doing those sort of social things. Not showing them that drugs is the way, but not allowing them to be around people that do drugs. Should um, put them in a, a good environment, like for example the academy. The feeling of being needed and wanted. These voices are finally gone. I'm finally fixed while I'm wrong. But now I'm home and it feels like that's where I belong. That's not our future.